Brothers are second double murder victims of 2022. This is the Hummingbird News Channel, where we keep you up to date with news from across Jamaica. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And now the details. Just three days after the first double murder of the year was recorded in the parish, there was more tragedy in Westmoreland as two brothers were killed in the quiet community of Carowina Tuesday morning. They have been identified as 43-year-old Dervin Jones and his younger sibling, 41-year-old Sheldon Jones, both of Carowina District in Peters Field. Reports by the police are that shortly after midnight, the Joneses were sitting in their yard having a drink when they were ambushed and shot several times by armed men. Family members said they heard the gunshots but did not know that they were fired in their yard until they discovered the victims lying in pools of blood about 5.30 a.m. The police were summoned and the brothers taken to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where they were pronounced dead. Relatives were still in disbelief on Tuesday as they stared at the spot where both men were sitting prior to the incident. Nadine Jones Abbott, sister of the deceased, said her siblings were honest, hard-working individuals and their murder has shocked the entire family and community. My mother passed away on the 13th of July 2021 and we buried her on the 24th of September. My brother Dervin never got to come to the funeral because he was in Cayman and he had problems coming to Jamaica, Jones Abbott said. She said Dervin flew in on December 24 to spend a couple of weeks. He was killed on his birthday. We plan to cook some hoghead and have a nice time and drink a few liquor and them stuff there. And this is what happened. Tragedy struck this morning, said Jones Abbott. She added, it's very heartbreaking, very hard. The family is taking it very rough. Three years now him never come to Jamaica and him just come to Jamaica and meet his death. It's very hard for the family. I don't know how we're going to cope. Jones Abbott said that Carowina was reputed as a crime-free community. She also related that the death of their mother five months ago took the family by storm. Four months after her burial, the family is again making funeral arrangements. Further, Jones Abbott said her brother had a large portion of money on his person when he was killed, but the gunmen did not even bother to take the cash or his valuables. As a consequence, they have ruled out robbery as a motive for the killings. The Westmoreland police say they have not yet got any leads into the latest double murder. We have not yet made any headway into this latest double killing, but it's early times yet and we are still locked in a series of investigations and hope to get some leads by later this week, one senior cop said. This is the Hummingbird News Channel, where we keep you up to date with news from across Jamaica. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell so you can keep up to date with our new uploads. Until next time, be the change that you wish to see.